hey how's it going everybody welcome to Chicago we got March 27th 2024 we got bright sunshine I'm walking home during my lunch hour here I got my laptop so I can work at home this afternoon I went into the office there's hardly anyone in the office we met her deadline or at least I met my deadline, so I'm going to head home. We'll do a nice uh, lunch walk here along Michigan Avenue, my usual walk home on TikTok, but we'll do it on YouTube to mix it up. We'll get some good 720p widescreen landscape here. Hopefully I'll have the comments so I don't have to read them sideways. That was hard yesterday, but then tonight I'll be able to walk up in Lakeview I'm thinking about going up to Southport and then tomorrow of course I'll start from my house at noon and we'll head all the way down to Sox Park for the White Sox home open tomorrow hey thanks for tuning in everybody thanks Chris Shannon Trish Christy yeah I'll repeat myself I know you probably didn't catch the beginning part it takes a while for the notifications come out thanks for everybody for tuning in here we got bright beautiful sunshine here March 27th 2024 we got about 34 degrees so we're above freezing what is that one or one or one degree centigrade Celsius hey they got the Chicago sign there what is this this is a eye doctor store that's what this is okay good so uh, what I'm gonna do I'm going to work from home this afternoon, so I'm going to do my usual TikTok walk at lunchtime here. So we'll walk up Michigan Avenue. We'll see it in widescreen. We'll get some nice content here on YouTube. I'll go all the way to the zoo. The zoo will be open, so we'll be able to walk right through the zoo. We'll go through the Gold Coast, and then I'll work from home this afternoon. There's hardly anybody in the office. I met my deadline, so... Uh, yeah, good afternoon, lunch bunch. Yeah, we'll check out the tall buildings. Enjoy the sunshine, and then I'll be able to walk. I'm thinking about heading up to Southport on TikTok tonight in Lakeview. We'll go by the Music Box Theater, and uh, Southport's a nice commercial strip. I haven't been up that way in a while. I used to know people that lived up there, but they moved away, so I don't go to Southport much up in Lakeview, so we'll probably do that tonight. And then tomorrow we'll do the White Sox home opener. I got my White Sox hat and I got everything ready to go. We'll leave my place at noon tomorrow. We might do a morning walk. We'll probably just stick around Lincoln Park on TikTok. Look at the boats. There's Chicago's classic lady there. We're crossing the DuSable, Michigan to Bridge. There's Linella, Linella, Linnea going the other way. Chicago's classic lady. Look at the tour boats. It's sitting full. People are starting to head into for the long Easter weekend we got Good Friday coming up or Wednesday today but hey look at that boat it's going right underneath us how you doing here I'm waving to the people yeah it's great everybody taking a tour here yeah how's it going JK Kevin Patricia Toya yeah enjoying the Sun there does the river still look green it still looks a little green here I miss some other people here Eric thanks for tuning in Angel Terrence, Ricky, Ricky, of course Chris, Christy, yeah, Mylene, Anna Marie. Hey, Commercial Richie, how you doing there? Thanks for tuning in. Christy, Trish, yeah, Shannon, that's all the way back. That's pretty good timing, Chris. Yeah, you were the first one today. So, uh, yeah, see, so I posted at the TikTok. We went to Giardelli's, which is right there, 400 North Michigan. There's the Wrigley Building of course the south tower and see dear Delhi, you enter there you can walk all along there and you can sit right by the window and check out this beautiful view and here's the uh john baptiste point du sable statue with the bridge house there's a lot of people gathered there here's the uh apple store look at the saint regis yeah we'll get to the saint regis i know somebody was asking about that yesterday look how the sunshine looks so nice here with the Tribune Pioneer Plaza. Look how it hits the Wrigley Building. 
we get the bright spring sunshine. See, we're getting the same sun we get in September right now. You, I, you know, once we get past the equinox, the days are as long as September right now at the end of March. Isn't that amazing? It doesn't feel like September. Isn't it amazing? It can be really warm in September and so cold like it was this morning. Wind chills in the 20s are tamed. Christy, yeah, how you doing, Christy? Trish, hello. Yeah. So, uh, oh, that time I, I got to scroll up for the comments. I was reading the comments in the back there. Sandra, how you doing there, Michael? Thanks for tuning in. Yeah. Rangers play the Cubs home opener. Well, that's the Cubs. Well, okay. So I think the Cubs start on the road. Yes, tomorrow is the first game of the season for the Cubs, but they're starting on the road, which is great. The White Sox are having their home opener tomorrow, so I'm going to go down and uh, cover that. I'm not going in the game. I'm going to just tailgate, walk around the parking lots, get the vibe, feel the excitement of people ready for another baseball season. And then April 1st, April Fool's Day, is the home opener for the Cubs. So we'll do the whole thing again for the Cubs. We'll see if the rain holds off on April 1st. But tomorrow, it'll be a little chilly, but it looks like it's going to be sunny at least. And I'll cross the street here. We'll head to the sunny side of Michigan Avenue. We got the light here. And uh, so I'll probably be on TikTok. Instead of being on the YouTube, I'll probably be on TikTok tomorrow at lunchtime. So if you're looking for me on YouTube, and I know not everybody follows me on TikTok that follows me on YouTube. I'm, I'm, I, I, I had this idea where I would do start on YouTube and switch to TikTok. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try to do one continuous long stream with the backup battery just on TikTok so I don't have to switch and lose half the people. So, uh, yeah, we'll do, tomorrow we, there won't be a YouTube and it'll be TikTok all day long. So uh, I think a lot of you follow me on TikTok as well. We're just doing that for the White Sox home opener. I'll probably take the train part of the way, but I do want to walk through Chinatown and Bridgeport and uh, hopefully uh, Pilsen on the way back. The pansies, the petunias, or these are pansies, I think. They're or no, what are these? I don't know my flowers here. <laughs> and uh, these look like pansies, I think. Yeah, Mylene, Jen, J Cat. Let's see. So, what question did I miss here, Merck? St. Paul had 12, 12 degrees Fahrenheit snow. Looks like December in St. Paul, Minnesota. Wow. Yeah, there's a Giordelli's factory in San Francisco. Yeah, Giordelli, if you look at their history, they started in San Francisco, and that's why they're one of the longest chocolate companies in the United States. Of course, we're losing Blommer Chocolate Factory, which is a shame, but Blommer will still be producing. They're just, they're just shutting down the Chicago factory, the nice one with the, you can smell the chocolate. Here we are on Michigan Avenue, heading up uh, straight up the Magnificent Mile here. And, uh, yeah, thanks for answering that question there, Jen. So somebody's talking up here. Let's see what's happening. But uh, here we're at uh, Ohio and Michigan. We got the light here. So we'll cross the street and go by the Under Armour. Uh, yeah, Michigan Avenue looks pretty good for a Wednesday middle of the day. There's La Katrina's across the way there. And, uh, I almost went across the street to get uh, La Katrina here. Let's do that. Let's let's cross the street here, and uh, so we can get on YouTube. We can get a nice. I know Sarah. And, my other moderators are probably right. I got a, a La Katrina fetish with that statue. I'm just so glad it's back here, Ohio, Michigan. Here's the Under Armour. Hey, we got dogs. We streaming okay? How's everybody doing here? Yeah, good. Yeah, 3,800 kilobits per second. We got seven seconds here, so we'll cross the street and we'll get a nice view of uh, 
Dia de los Muertos statue. Look at the crowds here on Michigan Avenue, middle of the day here. So here we'll cross right here at Ohio. I know I'm crossing back and forth. I do this a lot because uh, eventually I'll hit a light and I'll have to cross back across. So I'm not worried about that. You know, we do this walk all the time. But hey, the hope I don't miss the tulips blooming. I'm going to be at my father's place for over a week, beginning of April. So we'll get to see springtime down there. I might do more sub-only chats when I'm at my dad's place just to avoid the whole questions. Why are you not in Chicago? You guys understand where I'm visiting my father's place. Hey, La Catrina, Dia de los Muertos statue right in front of Colores Mexicanos. That's why I crossed the street. Why did Brian cross the street? Because I got a La Catrina fetish here. This statue this is great. <laughs> here we'll head across uh, we'll get across uh, Ontario here I'll make sure I make it across this light and we'll continue our walk back to my place lunchtime I'm gonna work from home this afternoon there's like no one in the office today there was like three people in the office I met my deadline I'm looking at all these empty cubicles and I'm like all these other people are working from home why don't I work from home? They have all these initiatives. They're trying to get people to come back to the office. Every So many people since the pandemic have, you know, they're probably working at Starbucks right there, you know. There's people I work with that live just only blocks away from the office, but they never come into the office because we've all cocooned, nesting. People prefer working from home. People have kids, dogs, pets, reasons they got to stay at home. And uh, I understand, you know. <laughs> but, uh, hey, we went by the Burberry. We'll go by the uh, giant Starbucks. Hey, we got 18 seconds here. Let's see what's happening over here. Got it. Somebody's rapping over here. Let's see what. Let's see what's happening. We got street performers starting to come back here in front of the Starbucks. In the summertime, there's so much more street life on Michigan Avenue. It's usually every block has something like this has you know they you, people get permits for certain corners and it's all organized yeah look at this yeah nice blackhawks uh, yeah yeah look at this yeah it's a whole new, new dynamic i agree that's awesome so here the streets coming alive here here's the cup store of course we'll see the we'll see the white white Sox team store tomorrow it's on 35th there where guaranteed rate field is we'll go to the white Sox home over tomorrow we're just heading up michigan avenue we'll go by the bus stop here it's a whole new dynamic yeah it's interesting how yeah the, the we're, we're talking about the ramifications of how it affects cities you know it's 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 hard people people understandably have reservations of taking transit in New York City when people are getting pushed on train platforms. I know that's a rare occurrence, but any any time it happens, like it happened earlier this week, you know they got the National Guard protecting uh, in New York State, protecting the subway systems there in New York City. I know less people take transit, mainly the Metra, the CTA. When I took the Red Line, it was really crowded. So people are taking the CTA, but you know, late at night it's really empty. It's just during weekends and rush hour. These tulips are getting ready to pop. I'm afraid I'm gonna miss them when I'm at my dad's place. Look, see those those tulips are ready to pop. Burst forth with spring color here on Michigan Avenue. Yeah, we're going to the zoo. I just saw that, Jeffrey. I'm sorry, I that comment was sitting there for five minutes before I responded to it. Yeah, we're gonna walk through the zoo. I'm gonna head all the way back uh, three miles. You know, I walked into work this morning. I picked up my laptop and met my deadline. And so I'm gonna work from home this afternoon. So since the sun came out, I said, well, hey, we'll, we'll do the lunch bunch walk. We'll get this footage on YouTube. So many people watch the reruns. People can't, aren't available to watch it live. And, some people that turn it on YouTube never see this walk because this is usually what I do on TikTok. And it's nice. I want to see what it looks like on a sunny day landscape. I'll throw it on the screen when I get home because I, I, I look at how I frame the shots and how the 
cityscape looks in widescreen compared to landscape, you know. And uh, there is Neiman Marcus. We're going by Victoria's Secret. We went by Saks Fifth Avenue and Tiffany's. Oh, uh, see, it's so, can't even get the whole John Hancock in there, but it looks nice in the sun. Here, we'll get the water tower. We'll just head up Rush Street and go through Dearborn. End up in the, go past the nice, beautiful housing there in the Gold Coast, and then we'll go through Lincoln Park and end up in the zoo. So we got 1221 Chicago Central Time. And uh, Alina, thanks for tuning in there. To Toya, yeah. Good, thanks for checking that out yesterday. I'm glad it was good information. Yeah, I, I learned stuff by doing this too. I'm glad other people learn stuff. And yeah, that, that, that bear video's taken off with uh, Mr. Beef. One guy called me a dork. And so I kept his comp. Oh, come on. This what you, Oh, they're honking at the pedestrians here. Okay. Um, somebody in the comments of the Mr. Beef called me a dork. And I, I liked it. I laughed at it. And I said, you should have called me a dweeb. You know, yeah, you really hurt my feelings. You're calling me a dork. And I was like, that's, I haven't been called a dork since I was like in elementary school. It's so funny. I guess, you know, I guess what he really wanted to say, he couldn't. It would have been censored. You know, TikTok is not free speech. We all know that. But <laughs> it just cracks me up. Hey, there's some flowers, daffodils trying to come up here. Look at the beautiful water tower here. How nice it looks in the sun with the towers behind it. And thanks for tuning in here. We're going by the historic Chicago water tower here. Survived the 1871 Great Chicago Fire. And it's always nice to see it with the John Hancock behind there. People are yeah, having their lunch and sitting on the chairs here. Hopefully they'll get this fountain going later in the spring. Yeah, there's a museum right here. I'll, I'll at least point it out. I don't know if I'll go. I'll, I'll just peep in the door here to show you. Somebody mentioned this before. There's this. Uh, Loyola University has a some of their campus here and then they got an exhibition here of course this famous photograph here from the uh, he's opening the door there the Afghani women that was that, that she was she was on the uh, national or the uh, National Geographic cover and see they got a art space right here look at the nice uh, backlit Steve McCurry icons mm -hmm. Loyola Museum of Art let's just see what this looks like here I'm not gonna if there's a I, yeah you got to pay so I'm just heading home here we can we can do this some other time I just want to see yeah you got to go here and pay and see how there's an exhibit right there and so go ahead go ahead and they got a they got a nice little you can buy the book here Steve McCurry they got a little some gift items here let's look out the window here here's the store here at the Loyola University art exhibit you can see the seminary right across the way here so so yeah you go in there they got the beautiful photographs from Steve McCurry a lot of people are here here checking it out so this is an idea if you're in town for the long holiday weekend you can check this out and we'll we might check this out some other time when I have more time. I, 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 I'm on a somewhat tight schedule because I want to get back to my place in case someone's trying to email me after lunch. You know how that paranoia, that's why I don't like working from home because I like to keep the work home separation. And when your, lap, when your work laptop's at home, there's always like, is there an email there? Someone trying to contact me even on weekends. And if I leave the laptop at the office it solves that problem because I can't even check it or I choose not to check it you know <laughs> yeah check it out there yeah <laughs> is someone gonna ban me yeah someone's gonna I'm always worried about being banned I know both on TikTok and YouTube paranoia I got the tinfoil hat on <laughs> but uh, hey thanks everybody for tuning in yeah there are people eating in Chipotle Here's the Starbucks. There's the classic Starbucks logo, the goddess there. It comes from Seattle. It's just like Giordelli. Giordelli, no, Giordelli comes from San Francisco. 
Starbucks comes from Seattle. And Jeff Bezos used to come from Seattle, but now he comes from Florida to avoid paying his taxes. There's a great article in the New York Times about, and I like it because it's critical of Elon Musk, about how Elon Musk is now beholden to China. And the U.S., you know, because Elon Musk has major security clearances because of SpaceX and its conflict of interest, just like TikTok. And since he's got his gigafactory there for Tesla in China, he's like pro China taking over Taiwan. Elon Musk is. And, you know, because he has to do the party line because you do business with China, you can't say anything critical about the government. And uh, there's the conflicts of interest that American business people have. Look at this. Look at this Ferrari. Wow. See, we're in front of the uh, Joe Perillo Gold Coast uh, Bentley here. Bentley Gold Coast. They park They park some of their their cars out here on the street sometimes. Look at this beautiful Ferrari here sitting out on uh, Pearson. And uh, here's the Bentley Gold Coast with the seminary. Look at that beautiful circle window the flying buttresses yeah is that your car that's sandra's car right there yeah look at that tara that's a nice ferrari yeah that's uh here let's go by the well we go by this all the time it's hard for me to i'll actually film the seminary because you know they look they changed it, it used to be the blue one there there's a black one they're charging it but it's hard to film through the glare of the windows there's the beautiful round window of the seminary here on rush street looks nice in the sun isn't it nice to see at different times of the day usually we see it like, like this morning someone was like how can you stand to live in chicago it's so gloomy all the time or they were saying it last night but look at it now it looks beautiful when the sun comes out and it's just uh yeah people are just making conversation yeah i, I probably would say the same thing you know that's so why i was tuning in to Tim Major Hustler there in Seattle earlier in the week and they had bright beautiful sunshine in Seattle because they go a long time in the winter time without seeing the sun some years and when that sun comes out in spring people go out and take advantage of it which is what he was doing but uh, yeah it's off until we're heading up Rush Street checking out the car visuals it gets gloomy everywhere I know Patricia thanks for understanding that's why Thanks to you great people on the Lunch Bunch for being my sounding board. Sometimes it sounds like I'm complaining all the time. I'm just voicing, like everybody else, you know, the normal things that transpire. There's the Rivian store right there. Social media, there's so many things about it I don't understand, will never understand. The world has changed, just like what Chris and I were talking about with the pandemic. Some of these trends are permanent. And, you know, look how chaos theory, something as mundane as a giant shipping container going through under a bridge in Baltimore is strangely connected to globalization. Ships being larger, they, they widen the Panama Canal so ships could be larger. They cut the budgets of the crew so they, they run as little people as possible, pay them as little as possible. That Singapore-based you know you know mayor's contracted it it's all insured they don't they do an engineer's on tiktok it already went viral he's saying i work on ships like that they defer maintenance that's why the engines failed so the some of the profits that jeff bezos and google and apple and everybody makes but shipping everything around the world all the time is directly related to them cutting cost running it as efficiently as possible which means deferring maintenance on the mechanical systems for those giant ships so their engine failed when they were just leaving port what if their engine failed and they were in the middle of the ocean they're lucky it, i mean for the crew they're lucky it failed not for the bridge and the people that died on the bridge six people at least six people construction workers probably lost their life when when that bridge went down in baltimore and a lot of them were migrant workers probably the contractors were weren't paying them a union wage so don't get me started about that. <laughs> you know, I know these are the uh, these are the dilemmas of the modern age. And you can't, you know, you can't directly connect it to the profits of Jeff Bezos. It's just uh, I won't stop saying that billionaires should pay more uh, 
for the responsibility they bear for the changes they made in society, privatize the profits, ex, you know, externalize the, the dangers that we all subsidize, just like sports stadiums, Jerry Reinsdorf and the Bears asking for, the McCaskies asking for billion dollar stadiums and then they privatize the profits at the taxpayer expense, let people gamble on their games. And then when the when the interpreter of the star player from the Dodgers, they want to punish him when everybody else is gambling on the game, including them. I call foul, you know. I, I say like Tara and everybody else, let DraftKings pay for these new stadiums. They should be able to afford it. And when I hear that Bally's Casino cannot turn a profit on their temporary casino, I'm like, tough luck. If you can't make a casino work, shut it down. We're not going to subsidize your casino. We're supposed to bring in all this tax revenue. So, hey, how you doing? Hey, how's it going? Hey, Omar. Heck, he's, he's tuning in. Up, I'm on YouTube. Isn't that awesome? See, that's the security. The security for Prada. And look, they got this crane. Look at this crane. There's uh, This is Oak Street. Prada's looking nice. And Hey, see, look. You see him? He was waving there. Man, look at the... Look at the... Uh, construction here on Rush Street. Look at that. Yeah. So here we're on Rush Street and they're still, they're still working on the water department's still working on these pipes. They're doing a good job. And uh, yeah, they've been uh, working on this for quite a while here. You see, here's the city that works here. The Chicago Water Department. There's some of the pipes. Look at that. There's a, there, that's a traffic light. That's a traffic light. That's not a pipe, that one. <laughs> Here we're across from Gibson's and Hugo's Frog Bar. Yeah, the Cubs are playing the Rangers. Yeah, I'm, I'm walking and talking fast. I think I had a second cup of coffee and uh, I'm walking and talking too fast. Thanks. Well, I got, I, I'm trying to make it back to my place reasonably not too far after 1 o'clock. It's 12.30. We're already halfway back to my place, but we still got a long way to go. We're going to go up through the Gold Coast, and I won't spend much time at the zoo. I'll just walk through there. It won't be, we won't check out many animals because I got to get back to my place. And there might be more time over the weekend when my father's in town if we go to the zoo. I want to spend the majority of my time with my father I always feel like I'm taking time away from spending him if I go live even when he's with me but it depends on if he wants to be in part of the live or not and uh, he watches the videos sometimes he doesn't watch all the videos <laughs> but he likes it because he's getting up in years and he can't get around as easily as he used to because of his uh, knee replacement but he still gets on his scooter and his recumbent bike and he's pretty he's pretty active for his age i give him credit i'm looking forward to spending some quality time with my father over the weekend he's heading up to chicago and then i'm going to ride with him back to his place stay a week for the eclipse so uh yeah we're going fast here government reach to your brother lack of regulation yeah lack of regulation they they lit them they lit them run those ships we're talking about the baltimore bridge collapse and that that uh container ship that the engine failed like i said an engineer that works on those cargo ships he says he works on ships they're the largest ships because they pack them with as much stuff to go through the panama canal and uh they can have international crews that they don't have to avoid regulations and paying them less and if they, if they stop at an American port and then go to a different international port without going to an American port, they can have all international crews. It's just like the cruise ships. You take a cruise ship, they don't pay those people as, as much as you think they do that work on those cruise ships. And they, they work them really hard, you know. But it's all to get that Carnival cruise ship price as low as possible so we can pack as many people on there and then you get the norovirus and then you get seasick you get stuck at sea <laughs> positive negatives everything here welcome to rush street we're up here at russian state thanks for tuning in on youtube lunch bunch we're heading all the way back to my place so we still got a ways to go but uh 
Yeah, I, I gotta take it easy on Dad. You're right, Tara. I wore him out the last time. You remember when I was in Austin? The poor guy. He was. It was hurting his back. And uh, yeah, I, I. Thanks for understanding. Yeah, I, I want to spend quality time with Dad. We're mainly gonna just lay around my place, eat food, spend time together. Well, we can watch all the reruns. So if you miss me, just watch some rerun you haven't watched yet. I know you haven't. You know. There's got to be some videos you haven't seen. <laughs> yeah. Sail with Mickey. Yeah, go on a Mickey Disney cruise. Spend your Disney bucks. <laughs> you got Disney cruises, Disney World, Disneyland, all Disney all the time. Some people get married at Disney. Have their kids at Disney. Name their kids after Disney characters. <laughs> it's a whole culture. And here we'll cross, uh, we're at the uh, state and division. We'll go over here past shenanigans, Butch McGuire's, the Lodge, Hopsmith, and Mothers, running around Sioux Primary. Yeah, this wasn't that packed for St. Patrick's Day. They had the street closed down. Brandon and I walked through here. We were, we were underwhelmed, but maybe later in the night it got crazy. Oh, my dad is just amazed at all the stuff that keeps getting built in downtown Chicago. And it overwhelms him, too. He's not a huge fan of the city. He, he, I think he still laments the fact that I lived in this city for so long. They thought, like everybody else, I would move to the city and move back with my tail between my legs and go back to the country and be a farmer or whatever, you know. And uh, I stayed in the city. And... You know, the city stresses him out, you know, the hustle and bustle. He's not a big fan of any city. He doesn't want to go to New York at all. I keep trying to convince him to go to New York. And I said, I'll show you right now. He can't walk and, you know, he, he doesn't want to take the subways. Here's Mothers. And he went to New York once in 1965, had a bad experience on his high school trip. And he says, I'm never going back. <laughs> he was like Midnight Cowboy, you know. <laughs> Times Square was a lot different back then. Here's uh, the original Mothers, Bush McGuire's. Yeah, their logos here. We'll head up Dearborn Street. Eduardo's. Yeah, there's Eduardo's. They got the outdoor seating there. But, uh, yeah, Julie, thanks for tuning in. J-Cat, Scott. Yeah, be a Disney streamer. That would be the last thing I would do. I'm not a huge fan of... See... I'm a city planner, and I'm my, 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 my beef with Disney is this, and I've talked about it before. People that have never taken transit, never will take transit, never go to a real city or are afraid to go to cities, will fly to Orlando, rent a car, drive and park in Disney World Orlando. Then they'll take a shuttle that'll take them to either Main Street USA or they'll, they'll stay in a hotel, ride the monorail, which is great. You know, they'll actually ride Disney's secure private transit where they feel safe and, you know, the most magical happy place on earth for a price. They'll ride monorail, get off at Main Street USA, and they'll take a trolley. Or they, they won't even get on, they'll just take a picture of the trolley. Say, oh, isn't this nice, this fake old USA town how you know what you know like this you know historic looking buildings storefronts and we all know if you go to the real place there'll be homeless people there'll be people panhandling trying to give you a flyer disney takes care of all that it's a sanitized they clean up all the garbage if you try to if you try to propose there in front of the castle you got to pay to do it They'll take the ring away. I saw a TikTok where a guy was trying to propose, and he supposedly he had a permit to do it. They didn't realize it, and they got Disney people watching. He went to propose, knelt down in front of the um, castle there, Cinderella's castle, and this guy, this Disney worker, came out and went, took the ring, took the ring out of the guy's hand that he paid for, and went to the side and says, no, you can't, you can't propose in front of this unless you pay a fee to Disney. The guy goes, I paid a fee. That employee got fired because he messed up. And I don't think the employee should have got fired because Disney told them to do that. And so Disney's great, but it's for free. It's free to walk down these streets, whether you pay Chicago taxes or not. But you got to take the risk. I know some people are like, 
I'm not willing to take the risk of walking down a Chicago street, even the Gold Coast. Here's the RH Furniture. We got in there last night. And I don't know if I'm going to post the footage or not. The, the guy didn't want me filming after a certain point. The, the original woman was nice. She said, yeah, I can go there as long as I don't use flash. But I guess once they realized I was live streaming, they didn't like it. They thought I was just filming. So if I go in there and be quiet, I'm learning the, the, my limitations. I always push the boundaries. That's, that's their own private business establishment. They, they can choose to not let people live stream there. It's up to them. I want to show the beautiful Three Arts Cafe. We're in the Dearborn Street, the Gold Coast of Chicago. <laughs> you, had to, you had to pay to ride booklet and peel out the coupons. Yeah, paper ride, you know, it was, yeah. <laughs> I like telling the story in the 70s. Uh, one of my older, he's older than me, an architect friend. He was like, I don't know, 12 years old. His parents took him to Disney World in Florida. They, he claims that they didn't even know what it was. Like they got it at a thrift shop. He was wearing a normal t-shirt, N-O-R-M-L, which is the National Organization for the Reform of Marijuana Laws. I can say that on YouTube. I, I don't know if I want to say it on TikTok. I'm serious. See, that's why I'm worried about getting banned on TikTok. I can't even mention the M-word, even though it's illegal in Illinois. But he, he was just a 12-year-old kid in the 1970s under the Carter administration. He says that Disney found him. They made him turn the shirt inside out. They were going to kick him out of the park because he was wearing a normal t-shirt, which was controversial in the 70s. Even though in the late 70s, it wasn't that controversial. Cheech and Chong and marijuana almost was legalized in the late 70s. But then we know what happened after that. Nancy Reagan just say no and throw everybody in jail. But I know that the, the, the crack epidemic was really bad. And uh, crime was actually worse than it is now, even though it's really bad now. I know it's hard to imagine how could crime be worse than it is now, but it was statistically or per capita. And it was concentrated in certain neighborhoods or certain cities. But let's see here. Happy candy. There you go. Yeah, we got to use code words. You're exactly right. We got to use code words. But uh, yeah, the e ticket ride. Day tripper. One way ticket. Yeah. <laughs> I'm quoting the Beatles. But hey, it's, uh, thanks everybody. Six Flags over Texas. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, Six Flags over Texas is nice. I always, I often do the quiz. Let's see. Uh, Julie, do you know what the Six Flags stand for? I, I know what all Six Flags stand for. One of them's really controversial. The six, and we got a Six Flags in Illinois. And uh, you can look it up because, you know, it's the Six Flags that used to fly over Texas. Six Flags started in Texas. And, you know, it was under many colonial administrations, but <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll let you research it on your own. You can find out what the six flags of Texas are. It's amazing that they still use them all. <laughs> oh, yeah, we remember, like, the, the uh, Dukes of Hazard. you know. It, the world has changed, but, uh, yeah, look at these nice... Uh, condo buildings there's the st christendoms you know exactly where i'm at there's some flowers there's some flowers blooming here dearborn street we're going past the beautiful housing here thanks for tuning in on youtube the the portrait of tiktok is better for filming these townhomes it's hard to fit them all in i can get both sides of the street though which is nice that's the nice thing about youtube i can get both sides of the street in you can get the full view yeah, you got it. Mexico, France, Spain. So I think I think it is, and correct me if I'm wrong, I could be wrong about this. I'm doing it off the top of my head without looking at it. And we can start from the beginning. Uh, Texas was first came, claimed by Spain. Then France claimed it. Then it was Spain again. And then, well, no, France, Napoleon had, well, the portions of it were Louisiana, the other portions weren't. Then Mexico won its independence from Spain, so that's, yeah, Spain, France, and Mexico. Then there was also the Texas Republic after the Alamo. Then the fifth one is the Confederate States of America, the Confederate flag. And then the sixth one is the American flag. So there's the six flags of Texas. And historically, that's accurate because... You know, and, 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 and that most people don't know 
the fifth one. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? And uh, see, history is history. You can't, we can't sanitize history. That's what it is. And uh, here we'll head through. Here we're going through Burton Place. Look at that Richardsonian Romanesque. Here we'll cross the street here. And we'll check out these beautiful facades here on Dearborn Street as we head up to the uh, Lincoln Park speed humps. Look at this, look at this uh, round staircase, fire, fire escape there. Look at that. Look at these beautiful facades here. Dearborn Street, Gold Coast, Chicago. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, we got 34 degrees. This is uh, the Gold Coast area of Chicago. And we're just doing this lunchtime walk here on YouTube to get some footage here on YouTube of areas I don't usually walk through on YouTube. Nice bright sunshine in the middle of the day here. March 27th is kind of cold. But hopefully it'll be warmer tomorrow for the White Sox home opener. Oak Springs Eternal for both the White Sox and the Cubs. And we'll do the Cubs home opener on April 1st. Hopefully there's forecast rain for April the 1st. April Fool's Day. We'll see what happens. But it looks like it's going to be nice tomorrow. And uh, we'll try to get some footage of that. Yeah, I had to look it up too. I, you know, when, you know, I, I go to Texas usually in wintertime, visit my family down there near Houston. And I was like, what's the Six Flags over Texas? Because, of course, Illinois has the Six Flags. It's up by Chris Gurney. Uh, it's up near the Wisconsin border. We, you know, they, they put Six Flags in between Milwaukee and Chicago so they could do both markets, you know. And same thing with Kings Island and Cincinnati. They put it on I-71, so Dayton... In Columbus, it's a long drive from Columbus, but it's on the closer to Columbus than it would be if it was on the other side of the city. And that's what they do with these amusement parks. Look at this beautiful building. Look at those windows. Look at that detail over the door here, Dearborn Street. This is a double lot. And uh, there's the Latin School. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Did I miss anything here? Yeah, sometimes I get things wrong. I try to do things as best I can. Yeah, I messed up on that uh, Mr. Beef video. I said Franklin and Huron when it was on, on it was or Orleans and Huron. And then later in the video, I was right. I said Orleans and Huron. But sure enough, when so many people see the video already, over 30,000 people have seen the video, someone said, corrects me and they said, you said it wrong. You said Franklin and Orleans. It was or, or Franklin and Huron when it was Orleans and Huron. I'm like, you're right, but later in the video, if you watch the whole video, I correct myself twice. But that doesn't count. It's like the person in class that always tattles on you. You spelled it wrong. Yeah, I did. But, uh, they, you know, I, I think some people see the videos and they don't realize I just, I'm just clipping out my lives, which I'm doing everything. I'm not, there's no script. You know, I'm doing everything off the top of my head trying not to get run over. And uh, you know, I misspeak sometimes because it's hard to walk and talk and remember stuff and remember where you're at in the city. I'm <laughs> just, yeah, thanks, Marco. Elena, thanks for the amazing views. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm enjoying the sunshine. I'm happy to be walking home to work in the afternoon from my house here. And I'm really going to be enjoying myself tomorrow if we get a sunny day for the White Sox home opener. We get to walk through some interesting historic neighborhoods Bridgeport Pilsen Chinatown you know I could go to Bronzeville but I probably won't I know I'll get criticized for that they'll be like why are you avoiding Bronzeville it's just because you know I'm gonna be walking 12 miles tomorrow I'm gonna be walking 12 miles I'm like Ronnie Dangerfield I get no respect I don't have a car and then people are always like and it's not that I'm avoiding it on purpose. I'm trying to pick a logical route that makes sense so I can hit the White Sox Stadium and uh, head back and see some interesting stuff. I haven't been through Pilsen in a while. I need to get to Pilsen, not because I want to gentrify it. I just want to show the beautiful uh, murals and storefronts and community that lives there. Nice housing and streets below the streets. Hey, dogs, how you doing? Yeah. yeah, see, we're going down this history walk here. The History Museum. Lincoln Park. We'll head up to the zoo. There's the statue of Lincoln. See, we saw... Was that yesterday? We saw the sitting Lincoln in Grant Park. Here's the standing Lincoln in Lincoln Park. So we show this a lot. And you can see some of the Gold Coast there. 
Honest Dave. Yeah, the nice dogs here. Oh, it's a beautiful day, Albert. I'm glad you're seeing it. Yeah, the sun, it was cloudy and gloomy this morning. And about 10 o'clock, the sun started to peep out. And I was like, I didn't plan on doing this at all. I thought I would work all day. There's already anybody at work today. I think people are starting to wind down for the, the, the three-day holiday this weekend. But I don't get Friday off. We is and uh, here's uh, here's the daffodils. And there's the, the the couch tomb over there. We filmed that before, but we'll just head right under this underpass and head up to the zoo. We'll go up to the south pond. Yeah, we need to land down, Lincoln. You're right. Yeah, resting resting on a couch or something. Yeah, <laughs> like one of those Grecian. There's actually some sculptures of like I, I saw. I think the Indianapolis Art Museum has it, where there's like somebody laying on a couch, and they sculpted it in like marble, like in the BC times, and it looks almost modern. It looks like a Davenport, but it was they had couches back in ancient Greece. At least the wealthy people did, and there was somebody just resting there, probably nude, <laughs> for the sculpture. The Greeks liked the nude sculptures. It was the human form. It was the ideal human form they were trying to find. You know, either Diana or their gods you know male or female hercules you know <laughs> yeah isn't that amazing that's a good more books have been written about lincoln than any other historical figure except for jesus christ that's amazing yeah it's fat he's a fascinating character in american history i actually you know uh, yeah he's, he's he, you know there's a reason President's Day is Washington and Lincoln. Washington not only defeated the British in the Revolutionary War, he was our first president and stepped down from power, like Cincinnati is, and that's hard to do. Didn't didn't crown himself a dictator or king like Putin or Winnie the Pooh there, and I can say that on YouTube. Uh, China. I'm not critical of the Chinese or the Chinese people. I'm talking about the the uh, leaders. They called it a democracy and they never stepped down. Putin and uh, Xi, Xi Jinping or North Korea. That's and we 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 all we're always susceptible to America to reverting to dictatorships. That's what happened to the Roman Empire. It started out. It wasn't a true democracy. It was a republic. Only certain people. You know, but they did have the Senate and a representative form of government. And then it devolved after Julius Caesar into the Caesars. And then it was like a royal lineage of dictators that were the Caesars. And they, they lost their ideal. And could, uh, we're always in danger of that in America. People want to crown a king. People still worship the British aristocracy. I personally have nothing against the British aristocracy, but I don't like the celebrity worship of it. It's just their brand. I know that there's British people that tune in, May and other people. I, I respect and like the United Kingdom. It's a great ally, just along with the Commonwealth nations, New Zealand and Australia and Canada and other legacy British. We're a legacy British colonial empire, at least our culture and language. And what did Winston Churchill say? America and, United, and England are two cultures separated by a common language <laughs> and uh, we don't speak it as eloquently as most uh, British people do we sound like a bunch of yokels but it all went south when Caesar refused up his crowd he crossed the Rubicon that's why that's a important quote there I see that Chris yeah he crossed the Rubicon and that's why when Napoleon did it it was the same analogy Napoleon was a, mil a, a, a military commander and when the chaos of the french revolution reverted to the terror under robert Ros Robespierre, Rob Rob robespierre the people were just so they wanted stability they looked to the military to provide stability and he crowned himself emperor of his empire and uh, very few people have risen as far as fast as napoleon has from going from being a commoner without this aristocracy without title or lineage and through the military, he crowned himself the uh, emperor of Europe and France, you know. And 
uh, there's not many paths that to that, you know. But they they had to cut off the the head of Marie Antoinette and Louis the Sixteenth. <laughs> the guillotine. Yeah, let's go back to the nineties. Now I know why, you know, I call myself a hippie. The hippies want to go back to the 60s. We just want to go back to the 90s before AI and social media ruined the world. <laughs> yeah, Grey Poupon. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the uh, Jethro from uh, Beverly Hillbillies. That's me. Can you please pass the jelly? That's what we sound like probably to Americans sound like, to, or at least I sound like. You know, <laughs> people think I have a Chicago accent. I really don't. I've been here for 25 years, 26 years. It starts to rub off. I have a Midwestern accent, but I grew up in Indiana. Here's the uh, daffodils. Here's the South Pond. Yeah, we're going to head up to the zoo. Thanks, everybody, for staying on here for the lunch walk here. We're, we're way up in Lincoln Park. We're north of North Avenue. There's the Lincoln Hotel. Look, the trees are starting to... Trying to turn green we've got the geese swimming around the pond here we'll head across this uh, nice little nature walk boardwalk that goes over the south pond we'll head up to that nice bridge with the view we'll try to get the view of the skyline here it's before we head into the zoo <laughs> yeah i got a projector i got several projectors i just uh I got a nice Epson one with an actual bulb and I use that in my living room and then in my kitchen I just got a cheap, they make these really cheap LED projectors and you know the, the, the nicer Epson and Canon projectors you got to replace the bulb and they produce a lot of heat. I'm talking about projectors I project, I got these big tall ceilings I can project on the walls. Chris has seen them and so I just bought some cheap Chinese projectors that you can buy at Target they only cost like a hundred bucks and uh, I'll run them until they burn out the LED they take less electricity and they're, they're not as bright they don't have as many lumens but for my purposes I can th I threw the NCAA up there I usually just project artwork I, I, I watch the ultra music fest on them you know I can I can project TikToks up there I can I can you know I got I, I got the Chromecast so I can just, from my phone, I can throw it up there on the screen. And uh, I'd rather watch YouTube's because they're landscape. Fill up the screen better, but... Yeah, no no problem, Elena. Thanks for tuning in here. And Anna Marie, thanks for the uh, emojis there. That's cute. Thank you. TRG, it's a lovely day. Yeah, the sun came out, so I said, Hey, let's head home over lunch. I needed to get my laptop home anyway. Look how they got the... I wonder if Jen could see this. You should eat because she's asked me if they were finished working on that that uh, genie gang structure. Look, they got it. Looks like a, a Quonset hut there. They got they got tarp over it. Let's document this because hopefully they'll have this finished. They have, I guess, they're replacing some of the wood there for that pavilion structure there. Your friend had a projector in the movie room. Oh, the bulbs are expensive. That's what I... I've had projectors for 10 years now since I've been living... Well, even before I was living in the place I'm at now. And yeah, the... the, the, the that's what happens. You, you got to... Every once in a while, you got to replace the bulbs. The bulbs are several hundred dollars. And that's why I can buy a whole LED projector... LED one, cheaper. And... I'll try to make it last as long as possible. So with positive and negatives, everything. Here, look at that skyline view over the South Pond. We'll get it better when we get up. We'll go up on this bridge and then we'll head right in. We'll head right over to the zoo. There it is. Natural by design. People's Gas Education Pavilion, that's what they call it. Studio Gang, yeah. Any gang. There, there's the Hey the cows are out. You see the cows? Say hello to the cows there. There's the cows in the... They're, they're looking at us. There's the cows in the uh, farm in the zoo. Yeah. Today would be a good day to go to the farm in the zoo. They got goats and chickens and... Little pigs and... Ponies. 
I only I keep looking for the ponies. They're never out when I go over there. Oh, it looks sunny at night, that skyline view. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. We'll see it in the daytime here. What time we got? One o'clock. So this is why I couldn't spend as much time as I wanted at that art gallery. There's probably somebody writing an email to me right now. Why aren't you back from lunch? You got to be chained to the desk. It's like that Mighty Python, the beginning of the meaning of life. You know, you got those accountants all working and that ship starts to take, that building takes sail there. Corporate raiders. Look at the beautiful skyline here at uh, the South Pond here. Look at that. See, this is why I like this nice bridge. You get this beautiful skyline. You're out in Huntley. Wow, I bet that's beautiful. Yeah, you got we're going through the farmland. And that's what I talk about, Chris. Look at the look at the lake. There's a boat out in the lake. There's Lake Michigan. This is Lincoln Park. Here's the South Pond. We're on this bridge that's about even with Armitage. And uh, we'll head right over to the zoo here. We'll check out that weeping willy tree. Yeah, look at that beautiful farmland. Na Naperville was... I saw it on the morning news this morning. Naperville, according to some list, was ranked as the best community to raise a family in the entire United States, Naperville. And Naperville is great. It's beautiful. I got friends that live out there, have beautiful houses, it's nice schools. That's why it was ranked so well. They got this nice par that nice park there with the river walk. They got their own river walk in Naperville. I wish somebody would live stream it from Naperville so I wouldn't have to go out there. Or Chris could do it, you know. And, uh, Sometime, you know, I'm not, I'm not no pressure because that same as he, I'm not making the request. Uh, I'm just explaining people what Naperville is. But Naperville used to be some of the most beautiful farmland, like rivaled Iowa. And, you know, it's great as a suburb. It shows how the city expanded in all directions. You know, and then same with Huntley, beautiful farms. I go down to the southwest suburbs like, like Frankfurt. And you see these beautiful farms that they're selling the farm for subdivisions. And that's been happening for decades. Not just in this city, Houston. The difference between Houston, Houston's piney woods. Chicago, it's it's arable farmland. Beautiful farmland. Some of the best farms in the nation. Downstate Illinois, you know, beautiful farms like Iowa. Very nice farms. And then I just hate to see it turn into subdivisions and cul-de-sacs. Not that I'm against the suburbs. It's just... As an urban planner, the most urban sprawl leads to more traffic. It just does. But then but that's where people want to live. And that's why Naperville's ranked number one. It's, 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 you know, if you can afford it, it's ideal living, you know. And, uh, yeah, I know people from Naperville say they're from Chicago. That's why Jay, Jay and I, City Walking Girl and I, we live in the city. We stay in the city. People always ask us to go to the suburbs. Someone asked me to go to Mount Prospect. I said, Mount Prospect's nice. It's not in the city. Someone else can show them Mount Prospect, you know. I know the Brookfield Zoo's nice too, but I don't get out there. I'll show the Lincoln Park Zoo. We actually live in the city. We stay in the city. People fault me from living on the north side, but the north side's more dangerous than the Naperville. You know, it's still in the city. <laughs> we still pay city taxes that they, they don't pay, you know. And yeah, I don't like it when people from Naperville say they're from Chicago. They're, they can say they're from Chicago land. That's fine with me, you know. But I'm used to it, you know. Hey, look at this beautiful view here with the daffodils. We're, we're at the south gate here. One of this, well, there, there is a gate further south that usually don't open it. There's the south pond, Cafe Brahers, right there. And they, look at the daffodils blooming here. We'll just head right into the zoo. Look at the flowers. Look at the weeping willows there. We'll, we'll walk right by it here. Or we'll see it across the swan pond here. Look at these daffodils. The zoo's, the zoo's almost like an arboretum too. They got beautiful flowers and waterfalls. and You can just walk through here like it is a park. When it's open, it's, it's, it's like you got a zoo. Look at the blue flowers over here. Yeah, taxes are pretty steep. You know, you got city, city of Chicago taxes. You got Cook County taxes. You can check online for the rates. And then we got Illinois taxes. All, all three of those are high. You get taxed three times. And then there's all, all kinds of fees, permits. If you park a car on the street, you gotta get a permit. If you drive, you'll eventually get a ticket going through a light, you know, just getting through the intersection, trying to 
get you the yellow light before it turns red. The camera will flash, you get a ticket in the mail. I avoid all that by not having a car, but uh, then I don't have a car. Look at the weeping willow here. Look, see, there's a waterfall, but they don't have it turned on right there behind the the. Uh, well, they got that one turned on. See, they got some picnic pavilions here. You can bring your lunch and eat out here. But hey, look at these beautiful daffodils and the, the blue flowers here. Woodfield, play pinball. There you go. That's nice. Yeah, talking to Scott there. That's good. Yeah, Chris is pinball wizard. That's great. Woodfield Mall is nice, yeah. Many great shopping areas throughout the suburbs. Ah, look at these daffodils. Look, you got the skyline behind there. Lincoln Park Zoo. Thanks for tuning in here. What else we got here? Yeah, the old Arlington Park site. Yeah, they, they, they tore down that raceway, and I guess the Bears own the land or have an option on it. They're, the Bears are angry with Arlington Heights because they want to tax them for the school district. And so they're, they're, they're playing that game. They say, well, we'll go back to Chicago, which we know they're just trying to get Arlington Heights to say, oh, you don't have to pay that tax. And then they'll go right back to Arlington Heights. You watch. You watch. They're not going to build a $2 billion stadium when they can build a cheaper one in Arlington Heights and they already got the land. They want to develop that with hotels and casinos. And That's why I say have DraftKings pay. Have the casino pay for the stadium. Why should we subsidize their casino and hotels? You know, I got a serious beef with all these takings of the commons. But uh, here, we'll go through uh, Lincoln Park here. We'll get off my soapbox here. I'll go right back on it. I, I carry it in my backpack. Here's uh, Lincoln Park Zoo. Hey, these trees are looking nice. Remember, we, we were here just a few months ago. We, we were here for the Christmas zoo lights. Here's the flamingos. Yeah, look at the flamingos. Oh, we'll get to see them in landscape. Look, they're all turning their heads around, doing their choreography. Yeah, the flamingos. Lincoln Park Zoo, how you doing here? Yeah, they don't want to pay any taxes. They're not going to pay City of Chicago taxes. That's why they want to move out to Arlington Heights. They don't want to pay their school taxes or nothing. And see, if you're big enough and if you're rich enough, they don't even make you pay taxes because they want your business. What are they saying? They just keep looking around. They just keep looking around. They look that way and they look that way. Yeah, see how they fight? They fight sometimes. <laughs> yeah, look, what a beautiful day here. Lincoln Park Zoo. See, the, the monkeys are over there. They got a food court in this thing. It used to be the aquarium. Kids are enjoying it. And, uh... Yeah, they're, they're all, 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 all the NFL owners do this. The Cowboys do it. They threaten to move out of the cities. Go to the, Jerry Reinsdorf says, well, we'll take the White Sox to Nashville. If Nashville build them a stadium. You know. They were like, well, if we don't get the South Loop site, White Sox will build their stadium in Arlington Heights. Do you think the White Sox fan base will want to drive up to Arlington Heights on the northwest side? When they identify as the South Side team, I'm like, nah, I don't think that's a good idea at all. I wouldn't go out to Arlington Heights to see a White Sox game. I'll go to 35th and to Dan Ryan to see it, and I'll go to the South Loop, you know. But I don't want to pay for it. No one wants to pay for it. That's the that's the that's the, we already got a stadium that we're still paying off. We're still paying off the one on 35th Street. The bonds are still not fully run off, you know. Look at this waterfall here. Look at this nice, this is the swan pond in the Lincoln Park Zoo. Look at a waterfall. All right. There's where the snow leopard is. We'll see if the lions are out here. So they're still, wor they're still working on the reptile house. Look how if you go up this way, you can pop right over the uh, um, seal pond and uh, we saw the lions last Friday, so I, I need to get home. I need to check my email. So uh, let me uh, do, do the shortcut here. We'll go over. We'll see if the seals are out here. Some people sitting on the 
amphitheater here. Bob, how you doing? Thanks for tuning in. We're up at the Lincoln Park Zoo. I, I took off. I'm walking home from work at lunchtime because I'm going to work from home this afternoon. And here we're at the seal pond here at Lincoln Park Zoo. And Chris and J-Cat and Tara, thanks everybody for saying hi to Bob. And look at that beautiful blue water. And uh, I guess the seals are underwater there. We'll head down here and we'll go out the back here. There's the seals, they're over there. So look, they look, 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 it's on the rock there. You see the seal there? Hey, they're talking to us. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in here. Let's just check out these seals here. What are they saying there? Look at that, they're howling. You ever hear a seal howl? It's howling like a wolf. Well, here, let's go over here. Let's see if we can see them. <laughs> Lying around, getting a suntan. Yeah, working outside of Atlanta. Thanks for tuning in from Georgia and Dolores and Julie and J Cat. Yeah, was that was that a mating call? I don't know. It was, it was like singing a song there. <laughs> I never heard a seal make that noise. Where's the other ones at? They were, there was there was there's four of them in here, and they must be all underwater because they were for a brief moment we saw all four then when I zoomed in I lost him so here we'll go uh... and certain times of the day the trainers come out and they feed them and they make them roll over and do tricks and stuff and I mean they enjoy doing it it's it's all for their exercise you know and uh, that's why they say it's not a show it's just what they're they're doing and, uh... yeah Lincoln Park Zoo is looking nice so I need to get home and check my email. So if you missed any part of this, you of course can uh, check out the full live rerun. We started where I worked and walked all the way through the Gold Coast and went by the South Pond and now we're exiting the zoo. I, I told you I wouldn't have much time to check out the animals. I just, when the zoo's open, it's a, it's an easier, it's a shortcut. It's faster for me to just walk through there, go in one gate and out the other. Since it's a free zoo, it's, it's easy to do that. And then when this is planted in the summertime, this is the beautiful botanical, it's like a botanical garden here. They got perennial flower, annual flowers that they plant every year. And there's the uh, conservatory and the Schiller statue. And you see the Belt Stratford there. We'll head right over to the Shakespeare statue. At least the grass is green. You're going to have to start mowing the grass here pretty soon. Is anybody starting to mow their grass yet? Probably Bob is in Georgia. You're probably mowing your grass already. Let's see. Hearst Castle, California. Oh, you can see the real seals there, the ones on the Pacific Coast. Yeah, they got those cliffs. I've seen the seals in San Francisco. They come in the they come into by Fisherman's Wharf there. The seals they'll they'll lay on the the the, the, the piers out there, you know. And uh, Lisa, thanks for tuning in. It's called enrichment. There you go. See Lisa, I, I know you would know what it is. It's called enrichment. It's helped to prevent boredom and make certain procedures. That's good. Yeah, see, they get, they get used to, you know, they, they know their, their, their trainers there or their, their uh, attendants there at the zoo. And, yeah, they just they check them out to make sure they don't have any scars or skin problems and feed them some fish. They roll over and they get used to animals like routines. You know, my, my father grew up as a farmer, and, you know, Bob knows this too from running a farm. Animals get in a routine. Those horses, they, they know when it's time to feed and they start heading back to the barn. Same with cows. And you know, all animals will do that. They like getting in a routine. And I guess humans do too, whether we like it or not. That's why I walk to work in the morning. I get more done in the office. I got too many distractions at home. But uh, we all do. Hours, yeah, you know it. That's good. You mowed, you mowed for four hours? Yeah, see, you gotta mow the grass. My, I'm gonna go back, now, my dad's coming up for the, the, the holiday weekend this weekend. And I'm gonna ride back with him probably on Tuesday. I'll stay here on Monday for the Cubs home opener. And we're doing a Sox opener tomorrow. And then I'm gonna help him get his lawnmower ready, 
sharpen the blades. He's gonna have to. Maybe I'll maybe I'll mow his grass once or twice when I'm down there for the uh, eclipse. I hope to watch the eclipse on April the eighth from his place. We'll see where we actually watch it at. I'm trying to plan out spots, but I'll have a YouTube running. I'll have a TikTok running. So we got a one goes down, we got a backup, and we'll head right through this tunnel here. Yeah, your dogs complain about 5:30. Yeah. Your penguins love the anchovies and little squids. I bet they did. Yeah, that was like calamari. Yeah, you get some little anchovies and little squids. Yeah, they love that. See, Lisa knows that. Lisa knows the penguins and the seals and Omaha Zoo. Lisa was a zookeeper. That's why I like every time I walk to the zoo, you always provide great background info. I learn something new every day. Here's the little blue flowers. See, we were showing these. They're still blooming here, the little blue flowers. The tree buds are coming out here. Here's the conservatory, Lincoln Park, Chicago. We're getting close to Fullerton. We're up by Belden. Look at this beautiful blue flowers here. Signs of spring. Yeah, I bet Bob, I bet the trees are turning green where you're at. We're a little behind schedule here, but we're earlier than usual. See, these flowers are here. Here's Billy Shakespeare. And there's the Belden Stratford. So we know we're nearing home here. And, uh, yeah, let's walk right up here. We'll go up to the moor. We'll go up to the moor umbrella and we'll end it there. There's the conservatory. It's looking nice. Yeah, if you, if you want to see what the inside of it, go to my live tab about a week or two weeks ago. We walked through there. We saw the gnomes. I thought one of the giant gnomes was a leprechaun, but it was a gnome. <laughs> I think it was because it was around St. Patrick's Day weekend. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, look at these nice gardens here. There's the there's the bird condo. Birds don't like it though. We saw that tree with all the bird houses too. That was on TikTok though. Yeah, they're bluebells. They look like bluebells. I know Texas has bluebells. They call these something else. I, I want to call them crocuses, but they're not crocuses. They're just these little blue flowers. They're like bluebells. I know the bluebells are a big thing in Texas. My uh brother-in-law made sure he got all three of my nephews when they were babies they got him sitting in the bluebells that's like a tradition there I guess that he did his father did with him when he was in his father was from Texas too multi multi generations of Texans <laughs> look at that they look beautiful though yeah bluebells and see then there's the, some other kind of flowers you're gonna bloom Lincoln Park is great because they got so many areas of the tall grass, naturalistic prairie that they lit, they restored it. And they, they, those flowers come back and they bloom. Different times of the year, different flowers will bloom in this tall grass. And it's just, there's always something blooming spring, summer, and fall. And it's just beautiful. So I hope to cover that. And we'll keep this show going. I really appreciate everybody tuning in, keeping me company on my walk home from work here at lunchtime i'm going to head back to work get some lunch and uh, we'll be on tiktok tonight i'll probably walk up on southport avenue we'll go by the music box theater and see what's happening up that way and then tomorrow we'll do the white Sox home opener we'll go down to guaranteed rate field there in 35th and check out some of the south and west side neighborhoods so thanks for tuning in i really appreciate it and blue bonnets blue bonnets yeah blue bonnets yeah the blue bonnets so i think you're right okay so these are probably blue, blue bells these are blue bells the blue bonnets is what's in texas and thank you see my my brain shifts things i i i was thinking blue bells is blue bonnets blue bonnets is the texas flowers this is blue bells see so i stand corrected thank you thanks for the help see group think always helps out more brains are better than one We'll fight, we'll fight artificial intelligence with our natural intelligence. And uh, thanks, everybody. Have a great west rest of your Wednesday. Thanks for tuning in. Lunch Bunch, and we'll see you on TikTok tonight. If not, we'll see you at the White Sox tomorrow. I won't be I won't be on YouTube tomorrow at lunch. Check me on TikTok, Brian Really Chicago on TikTok. And uh, I know not everybody watches on TikTok. Sorry about that, but I'm going to do the White Sox. Uh, take the afternoon off so we'll be doing that tomorrow yeah see you sharon julie patricia piglet see you later lisa thanks for tuning in merc shannon chris everybody jcat emma thanks everybody
Yeah, the blue bonnet. Thanks, Emma. Thanks for uh, correcting me there. I appreciate it. And uh, DRG, we'll talk to you later. Thanks, Julie. We'll talk to you all. Bye-bye.